Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be continuing our alternate Future of the World series, and this is Season 3. As we know, the world was taken by the AI, however. But, as it happened, in Seoul, the Treaty of Seoul, which hit humans off the Earth, got burnt. And that's, you would have known if you watched the trailer. Kind of gives some kind of idea about what's to come. With this area, suddenly, because there's like, let's say, a few hundred humans left, probably. And they don't like the way things are going, right? So a lot of them in South Korea, where the news got spread, even got to the moon. With AI saying that you can't do that. Oh, within South and around Seoul, human and Pyongyang Yang humans rise up. With them meeting up. And this is how it ended. Ended in their favor, too. As all the humans were doing this and they were struggling to put it down. With it being a big war battle. In the end, they do win. But AIs have good strategies, though. Basically a game of chess at this point. I'm being funny. But, as you guys can tell, South Korea is having, the Korea, Korea is having a lot of success. As they're all fighting due to the death of the person who burnt the tree. To how cruel it was. And East Asia is being made a fool. And this is where they just kind of, after leaving China, move. And they have managed to topple AI control in Korea. Which is big news for the world. It shows a bit of weakness in the AI. But the AIs aren't having this. This is enough. And they mean it. enough is enough. Nothing could go great for China from here on in, with Siberia making a Siberian coalition with India, which is, yeah, their name is. India is a AI area, even though, and they all go to war with East Asia over this, which the humans in Japan see as a win-win situation, because, yeah, I want to take the AIs a while, because they're mainly focused on getting to a new government because of they don't trust this government and get a tiny bit of land. Hopefully. With them marching their troops in towards Beijing and moving them in Siberia areas. Why is Japan that color? Beats me. But with Japan being a part of East Asia, the humans in there rise up. It's like 2,200 probably rising up, maybe even 400. But as the AIs are busy fighting, Japan manages a topple control from the AIs as well as South Korea. Which is crazy. Wouldn't you guys agree? And eventually... East Asia is really probably weakest at this point. But they managed to make a counterattack in this area. AIs make great counterattacks. I don't know. But yeah. This is the first war in the AI world. This country has been losing control over humans. Now they're being seen as weak globally. With humans in China revolting too, in southern China. And Taiwan into democracy. But keep in mind, some AI areas are more democratic. 
that East Asia wasn't as democratic as, let's say, the European AI is more, dem more democratic, but that doesn't mean humans are allowed to vote, no. Only AIs are allowed to vote. Well, really, I said technology took over. With the fall of the first human revolt to be put down by the AI happening. And now it's for the land grabs and puppeting. Now the humans there. But its government is still on the moon. So they ask that government, but that government doesn't know if they can protect it, let's say. Let's go check this out. The U.S. had a massive scientific experiment. Don't know if this will be great. But they filled this. I think that's what it looked like. Or at least we're just looking for where it might. Well, basically, the Americans built a big chunk of water in. Why would they do that, you may be wondering? The real reason they've done this is just because it will help grass and other crops to grow, which will mean they can turn it green. And I understand that right now this is not even. Okay, maybe go to Earth and pick it up. And so one of the first effects, really. Make sure we go back to Earth and do that. Gets green in the near vicinity of it. With the greenery slowly expanding. As you can tell. That was pretty good and cool. It's being helped in the North American Union to grow. As it'll impact them more. And yeah, this water project was a very successful water project. But the U.S. takes a bold move. And expands a bit around the water. The U.S. expands there. Oh, I put the water too far down, but that's not a big deal. Well, the North American Union shall expand. I didn't realize this on time. Like that south of the other one. <laughs> Turkey gets a hold of this news. Because it floods into their borders and they're quick to move towards the coast. And now they help the grass grow in their territory. Which has been really successful. But now the world needs more water. With the North American Union, at the same thing. And so really what's going on is that slowly it's growing. And as you can see, it grew pretty much so far. Now let's see what's going on here. Well, if humans kicked out, where else could there be a human revolution? Maybe in the Middle East. Maybe in Europe. Hmm. With losing places of humans not being the worst thing possible. But. In the UK. Creates more green space. And then goes to Germany. To war with Germany. Because Germany is fold with water resources and they want to make it like in Germany. Germany refuses to give the water. 
to build the lake. So the moon war breaks out. And the Germans hold this British assault eventually right here. And they're ready to move back to New London. Yep, New London. You heard that right. New London was the UK's capital on the moon. With the UK not expecting the swift turn of events as people are unhappy, they've been routed in Germany. And they move north of New London. They encircle it and take the city. And they move through their lands. And yeah. And the UK is forced to cede lands. As we can see, of a lake and the border changed a bit because Chile had to get access a bunch of other nations had to get access and so on and a bit of a mess guys why is there a mess because why well, did but to prevent conflict the world had to do this in order to prevent conflict, they gave other nations access, including Argentina, other nations. Just to make it fair, Germany filed to prevent conflict. But it probably will encourage one, just because of that little management area. But they figured that one out. They are just going to change the borders with Argentina a bit. In Central America, just to buy really great because it made a little leak which allows greenery to go down in the Patagonia and Chile around Peru Germany did pretty well off it Argentina won't be expanding anymore unfortunately for them this lake project expanding further Soon time to go fix some of the imperfections but yeah I'll do that Probably off camera with Germany building New Berlin now. That's major. New Berlin has made a coastal city. A new Queensburg is built there. The lost city. They build new Munich here. New Hamburg. New Holm. New Frankfurt. Let's use squares for these ones so it's more visible. And with more cities means more potential. What else do they build? New Holstein as a city. New Slesvick, really? I don't think they're good at naming cities. Now what's a good name for this city? New. New. Rhineland? No. No, what's another German Oh, yeah. No. No. Something. Yeah, they don't build too many cities. But yeah, that's enough cities, I think. North American Union has two capitals in it. New Ottawa and New Washington. But they're building New Toronto. And they've managed to put in new Chicago. Why would they pick those two cities to be new? I don't know. And why isn't water growing? Why isn't plants growing south of this lake? Who knows? As the world is turning more and more green, the moon is going to look like Earth soon. As you can see, it's starting to look like it. With this lake, with this part of the lake over here growing around but there's going to be a lot more lakes as you can see built and now let's look to the earth europe has a rebellion what do i mean by rebellion a european union base well really the rebellion happens in ukraine and moves into yugoslavia and southern russia so basically it moves into the baltic Balkans, probably. 
that's her plan. But the Ukrainian rebels are really powerful. As I start down and you won't believe us. Ukrainians snuck in the what used to be Russia, right? And started their rebellion. Which was a surprise. And then moving down in the Balkans. These humans have a lot of rebellion. Them expanding into Ukraine. They are moving into southern Russia, as you can tell. They move down into Greece. But how much they're actually going to get is different. There's probably, in this area, I'd say there's 8,000 humans left behind. Because there wasn't as many rockets leaving here, which means more rebels. They were all kicked off Earth, in other words. With the Yugoslavia area being freed, as well as Ukraine, Bulgaria, and Greece, with Albania. At the end of it, now these countries, Europe is all scared, considering they lost Ukraine, Bulgaria, Albania, Yugoslavia, and Greece. How they do that? And look how funny their borders look. But that means more humans are back, which is good. As we're getting the moon done. And that's pretty much all the human revolutions for today's video. That's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, comment. And if we get five likes, we'll do part two of season three. And yeah, there will probably be a lot more parts on the last one. Basically, this is going to be cool. The moon being terraformed probably. Humans will take back, like, let's say, one area at a time. Revolutions probably won't be happening as frequently as we can tell now. And more wars between AI countries, probably. And we'll probably see wars up here, too, which is crazy. Isn't it crazy to believe that they're stuck on the moon? Thank you for watching today's video. That's pretty much all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. Until next video. But also, you need to subscribe because we have about less than 70 subscribers to go till we hit 1,000 subscribers, which is our goal by the end of the month. Thank you, and that's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. Well, not the end of this month, but end of next month.